What's up guys, Chris here. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. How many of you guys like to go to yard sales or garage sales and try to find die cast? Well, I must admit, I don't go much. Every once in a while, but I never find anything. This time, I happen to score pretty big. I ran across a gentleman locally, selling off his die cast collection He's completely off the grid, so he's not online or on YouTube. Now what's going to make this a little bit different than my other picking videos, you guys will actually have an opportunity to buy the stuff. If you see something you like in this video and you want it, contact this gentleman. I'm going to give you the information during the video and you can deal directly with him. All right, guys, let's go. Happy hunting. Holy cow. Holy cow. Wow. Real smooth turn. There, okay, buddy. I'm sorry, I've never turned on a turn before. What? what? Yes, I've never turned on a turn. You've never turned on a turn? What never do you mean? turned on a turn. Yes, that was a turn. All right, we got well, a little Josh turn. logic going. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, get up a logic. Okay. All right, guys, we're here with Warren. Warren was having a yard sale last week. I happened to pop by and saw this Johnny Lightning and racing champions and all kinds of cool stuff so let's meet warren warren how you doing how you doing guys this is warren all right guys i'm going to show you some things on the table starting with the nascar here i love these old dale earnhardt those are cool warren you said you're from pennsylvania originally yes <clears throat> Gotcha. Right outside Philadelphia. And how long had you been collecting uh, die cast? <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm 57, so since I was six, I've been collecting hot wheels. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you, man. Warren's got all kinds of other cool stuff we're going to show you slot cars and old matchbox. And the biking, the biking trucks. Oh yeah, the biking trucks. <laughs> guys in Europe will know exactly what that is. Boy, this thing right here is really cool. I think I'm gonna get that one from you. That's Route 66. That's a neat one. Very cool. Yeah, I had to go back and look at my Johnnies and see if there was anything that I was missing. I pretty much have a lot of these. Yeah, I didn't notice them all before, but there's like all different kind of subsets with them too. You got the gold series, the right. dragsters, the I noticed street on, freaks. Noticed on the street freaks, you got some red lines on this one, and these yeah. ones don't. That's a cool variation. We got the ad rods. I know a lot of guys are into that. Those are cool. Okay, we got some uh, Speed Racer. Well, six versus GRX. A few loose cars here. What are these things? Just little collectible uh, deals? I think I might have one or two of these things. But what I think, yep, yeah, that's what I thought it was. I always wonder what these come out of. Probably be the guys in the States that are really interested in these things. Uh, I haven't found anybody that knows even what, they're, what they are. I hear ya. So I said, I can't find them online. I don't think I've seen one in person, so. I have not it's seen pretty one. Neat for me out here before this one here is uh, Viking 2 it's not broken it comes apart oh that is a Viking <laughs> so that's a Mercedes truck Eight, yeah mm -hmm. that's pretty cool ladder I don't know they had another one too somewhere oh the, the fire engine that one rises
Oh yeah, Manny was telling me about this Megatron. What is that exactly? Oh, a tank? Yeah, that's the thing to transform. We'll get that one. We'll get that one. I'm gonna include a couple transformers in my race here. What about that Bumblebee? That's like that Hasbro car that I had before. We'll try it. Let's go through this uh, Matchbox real quick. Do you just want me to pick them up for you? Well, no, we can uh, we'll just look at them real quick. Yeah, they're pretty good visual from right there. Yeah, perfect. Guys that know what they're collecting, they know what they are. Sure, sure. And then these are all along with them too, Matchboxes. Horse. Got the horse in there. The Honda motorcycle. And they're just older ones. Yeah, the guys that are better collectors than me will be all over this stuff. Yeah, they'll know what it is. And now we've got a. It's from like 2002, a Thunder Jet. Batman. It's a remake of the original right. 60 series Batman, Batmobile. Right. And then this guy was, you know, that's an original AFX. Baja Bronco. Baja. <clears throat> There's something cool. You boys remember having these when you were little? Yeah, I remember having one. Zip Zap. Pretty cool. These were a neat thing Radio Shack was selling there for a while. Yeah, I'm hoping to find one person to buy all that stuff because I got one that's got a bad controller. I got another one that's got a bad car, but with all the parts together, if somebody has it. Well, see, if somebody's got a bunch know. of Zip Zap stuff. This yeah. would be great to add to their collection. Not to say, you know, all this, this is all parts in here. This is the wheels and gears. It's all the different colored gears match the different engines. Okay. Yeah, this is what that's all about. I remember this, I, you know, I remember this card. I remember studying this. Yeah, it's the booster upgrades. Yeah, so and I would know. talk to my sons about... You know, it's crazy because you look at this 28,000 RPM motor and that's like what the commercial slot cars are running. Yeah. That is, that is yeah, moving. Yeah, they really ran around. That's pretty neat. All right, and on to the slot cars here. We've got uh, some old Aurora, it looks like. Yeah, these are the old Aurora ones. Make sure I'm nice and focused on those. Those things are awesome. We've got some Tyco track set here. Whole bin full of it. The Aurora snap together track set. And I remember this thing here. You know, this was so cool because it just made it so much more interactive when you had the speed controller and all this stuff on the. Yeah. Man. Some of them had like little voice uh, like simulation of the actual racing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at this stuff, guys. 1960s Aurora pin and clip track. 206 pieces of track. Yeah, there's all kinds of extra stuff right in here. Yeah, extra bodies for the cars. I don't know if you can see those. Oh, yeah. That that used to be like that was cool. That was the cool oh, controller. Yeah, it had an actual steering wheel. Oh yeah. Forward and reverse switch. A little brake and everything on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. And now guys. today it's. It oh yeah, they got uh, 16 <laughs> buttons and a. Yeah. a Couple, couple of d-pads on there and all kinds of stuff i uh i told these boys give me a joystick and a fire button and i'll whoop you at any game there is <laughs> <laughs> hey you got some big cars over here yeah i forgot about quick those. Look at that this is a 130 second scale right there they are from the ford motor museum mint collection is that right I have a pretty extensive uh, 132nd scale collection just from the slot cars I'm into and all that. I'm not sure what scale they are. Those are 132nds. Is that what it is? Nope. Yep. Yeah. Do we have any other cases in any cars? Uh, my private collection. <laughs> We're going to get a sneak peek of Warren's private collection here. See, this is one of the Hot Wheels I was telling you about oh, before. Yeah. I, I didn't finish it, but... That's a perfect wheelbase for a slot car right there. Yeah. Nice light body too. Now these are the newer ones. This is the magnetic ones. This is for the track that climbs the walls. Oh yeah. Cliffhangers yeah, and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, that's what it was called. Cliffhanger. The old this was the generation after the Auroras, I think. The AFX, the AFX, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
I can't remember having this car. That was an, that's an Aurora. Most of all these up here are Auroras. That was my baby. I had that in real life. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, this one, unfortunately, is not for sale. Right. Well, <laughs> hey, now we all, that listen, we all got to hang on to something from our childhood. That... This is the one the guy was telling me. I had it listed out here for 90 bucks, And he said, no, man, start that at 140 you started right? at 140 goods. You probably get people that'll bid on that if you put it online. That's a Dino Ferrari. Everything original wow, with its case. That, That's awesome. Mint condition. Mm. But you see, it's a newer, newer 60s because it has the closed rivet. Which I didn't realize. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a eon ago. So yeah, that's yeah. Well, yeah, it's still old. Still old. Look at all this stuff, man. Now these were forklifts. And... These were also the Vikings. All these. Like 187 scale, maybe or something. No, they, well, I think they're. I'm not sure. This was like a little uh, airport That's cool. delivery thing. Had a forklift. And of course, you have all the little stuff that goes along with it. That was for the forklift. Boy, we all got a fishing box, something like this at home. <laughs> but I'll tell you, mine doesn't have as cool as stuff in it as this. Yeah, we have all these things. This one, this one was from the same set. These two, I don't know if, I don't think they were the magnet ones, but they're these things are fast. I mean, real oh, fast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just don't make anything like they used to. No. Well, see, that's the thing with these things. It's almost like the zip zaps. When when they originally came out with them, we all you know naturally racing. The lighter the car, the faster it's going to go. Sure. So we would come up with ways to try and make them lighter. And this is when we, you know, they actually did. They ended up coming up. And they they would cut out the unnecessary plastic in the pieces. Right. But we had started that with the Auroras. We would cut out this stuff. We would take these little gears out and drill out little holes to take out the metal. Yeah. To make them lighter. We'd cut these down here, try and get them a little lighter. I think what makes these so special is how intricate this is. I mean, if you really take a close yeah, well, look they're, at they're one little, of these, actually, they're little almost motors. like a, a timepiece, a watch of some sort inside. Well, there were guys that would rewind it's just little motors intricate as can be all these tires are the screw-on tires the silicone they were all the better tires yeah, stickier. You, yep. you know, originally you got those little hard plastic ones that's what i think was they would end up spinning out these white ones but it's funny you how you still feel how gooey those things are like a pencil eraser yeah but it's funny because you see these are dirty right now so you'd end up cleaning them even stickier to right? make it go faster yeah <laughs> you know awesome. it's crazy stuff like that love it all right guys as you can see warren's got some great stuff out here so if anybody's interested in anything just hit warren up here is his information all right guys till next time Thanks for watching. Take care. Now, all I ask is when you put this on, give me a ring. Let me know so I can appreciate it, Warren. Tune in. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Especially when you do the race of the. Uh, you're gonna race the whole Fast Five one shot. We'll race There's the Fast six Five as one category. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I want to see that one. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Here's another quick look at the things I bought from Warren. So these things, if you see them on the table, there are not available anymore, and these are not for sale. These will be in my race. All right, guys, hope you see something good. Till next time, take care.